folks, I'm here with my friend Diana Friend. She's with the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library. How are you doing? I'm doing just fine, Chris. We're happy to have you here today. We're so glad to be here, and you're going to show us some of the new things that have been happening here at the library, and you're going to take us on a behind-the-scenes tour. Uh, we're really excited. Let's get going, all right? Let's start out with the all Children's right. Library. Okay, let's go this way. All right, cool. This is uh, the new installation that just happened this month in October, um, where we have built what we call learnscapes where we can have interactive things that children will find and experience from the time that they begin are beginning readers until they become readers that are learning it's got a pretty awesome opening here yes, so does. let's go in and check it out yes we have one of the biggest copies of charlotte's web you'll ever <laughs> see <laughs> sure do when you come in uh, of course the first thing that you notice are the beautiful murals and they start in uh, our south corner with the beginning reader, which is nursery rhymes, fantasy, and interactive. Kids like to play on things. Sure. So the car and the boat, the, the, the kids aren't very good on, on reading on the shelf, so we put our board books in there where they can pick How out cool. the ones they like. Very cool, they jump right in. Um, we have some wonderful things that happen here. We have a little reading bench where uh, a child and their caregiver can sit down, enjoy a book, they can play. What it does is it connects reading with the actual written word and activities that we're doing here. The school bus <laughs> is an interactive where it actually has things about transportation on here and, and school related wow. uh, things. Um, and like I said, these were just installed this month, but it's pretty awesome. We also have an actual simulated school with learning programs on all of these computers there. This is also a gathering place for families. So we have parenting tips on this wall. We have now worn, grown into uh, learning about your environment. So a lot of the kids will never go to a beach, but we're giving them a beach experience right here at the library. <laughs> and we have a big octopus surrounding our saltwater aquarium. It's a very warm, it's bright, it's inviting, and it just really magical little places for the kids to be able to, to dive and, into reading. And the wonderful thing is it's a place where families can come and hang out. In the Lingo Story Room over here, you'll see right now that they are having an after-school program. So tell us a little bit about the after-school programs. Well, when you come in after school, number one, there's we have a homework center. So from 4 until 8 o'clock every evening, we have coaches available that can help you with your homework. We work in cooperation with most of the schools in this area, and uh, that has been going on for almost a decade now. And it's really wonderful to watch these kids grow up and succeed in school and actually come back and tell the coaches how they're doing even after they get out of school. You have a huge dinosaur right here. Yes, and since we couldn't get all of the T-Rex in here, we decided that we would get the most important part, his bottom. <laughs> <laughs> we have a birdhouse that was built by our facility house, our facility staff. It gives a little guide on what you might see feeding at our bird feeder. We have our own little solar system here created by Doug Schiefer with Albo Glass. So those are all glass spheres that Fiber he... Fiber optics in the ceiling and everything? Yes, wow. our staff figured out how to do that. That's not shelves and books anymore, it's, it's an experience. Right, and that's always been a proven uh, learning uh, tool, mm -hmm. uh, is being able to visualize depending on what kind of learner you are, the immersion helps. Mm -hmm. So this is the edge, the teen room. Tell us about this. Well, the Topeka and Shawnee County Public Library is really popular with the teenage crowd. The edge is our, what I call our interactive library for the kids, and it's kind of today's checkers for them. When people used to go to the library and pay, play board games, which they can still do, this is a chance for the kids to come in there. They've sat in school all day. They've had to be quiet and stuff. They can come in here and the kids can be kids, which can be a little noisy. 12 to 18 year olds, this is their place to hang. What a cool area. So we tell them they can hang out on the edge. Very cool. All right, so we're surrounded by a bunch of computers. Tell us what's happened in here. Well, one of the things that people, when we built this new library, uh, technology was just becoming mainstream back in the late 90s and uh, 1990s and all of that. 
And before we built the new library, we only had about six internet computers. Now we have <laughs> over 170. Wow. And we have 18 right in this room. So people can come in and they can learn everything from taming your mouse to Excel spreadsheets. We offer things that will help you learn job skills for job placement. We help uh, uh, those that want to connect with their grandchildren on Facebook, getting them their own <laughs> Facebook account. Uh, there's also using the internet to look up those things that everybody seems to uh, want to because the print's gotten pretty small in the phone book sometimes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we have two uh, trainers that take care of the classes in here and we have served, as of last year, over 45,000 customers wow. coming in here for training. Uh, we also have some of the uh, private businesses in town that actually ran out this room to do their employee training here. It makes sense. It's a state-of-the-art so, room. Yeah. It is. And we have very good trainers. So, yeah. uh, And there's no judgment. You can come back as many times as you want. Excellent. It's just another wonderful service here at the library. It is. Now we're kind of moving into the adult section of the library. These are the stacks, as you would <laughs> have. And um, we have tried to make using the library uh, as user-friendly as possible. So if you know Dewey, that's OK. But if you don't, we're going to make it really obvious where everything is. So uh, we put uh, less and less inf emphasis on that. And in fact, you'll find when we go to the West Wing <laughs> that we will have things arranged, similar things all together, just like maybe houses in a neighborhood. So yeah. we call them neighborhoods. Cool. Very cool. Uh, we also try to do a lot of shelf out so we can maybe tease you to pick up something up as you walk down uh, and improve your browsing of saying, hmm. I've never really heard of this. And I'm going to the birdhouse. <laughs> the other thing we encourage you to do, if you see one of these shelves empty, grab something off the shelf that looks interesting and put it out there. Because that's one of the number one questions our librarians get. I'd like something good to read. What do you recommend? Yeah. And uh, when you see these out there, it's either because the librarians pulled it and thought it was interesting well, I might stop right here. This is one of our neighborhoods we were talking about. This yeah. is where we we, we uh, shelve similar items. This is travel. We try to break it down where you might travel to. This starts the United States. This is outside the continental United States. This is what I think is one of the coolest things that we have. This is what we call a travel bag. And this one happens to be on Boston. Mm. So if you're planning a trip to Boston, you can check out this bag. And it has just about everything that you would ever need to, for planning a trip to Boston in it. Oh, cool. So um, you don't even have to sort through that. And we also include the latest um, printouts on there, maps, and destination places. What so, a great idea. Oh, it is an excellent idea. I've used it several times um, when I've traveled my vacation. And if you send us the pictures, we'll post it on our Flickr site. How cool. We also, if you happen to do some work with nonprofits, we can help you uh, with funding. Uh, we have resources for that. We are actually the only designated uh, f uh, nonprofit funding center in the state of Kansas. So, kind of proud of this. We're walking through our reference room right now. Um, and as you can see, references change from books on the shelf to people coming in and using their laptops here. Absolutely. Yeah. But they're coming in here because we have great Wi-Fi. Excellent. And uh, it's a place where you can gather together. Very we good. also are preparing people for how they can read now or in the future. Uh, and a lot of people come in, they're going, what device do I need in an e-reader? So we have displays for that. One of our most popular neighborhoods is our health information neighborhood because you can learn about your gallbladder, but you can also check out an exercise uh, <laughs> kit. So if you, wanted to, if you wanted to, if you wanted to try out some Tai Chi <laughs> or uh, Pilates yoga, or you can find the latest diet book. 
<laughs> we also have a blood pressure machine and a digital scales. Wow. It's an interactive library experience. It is. And once again, it's responding to the community need. We work with both of the hospitals and several uh, of the physician's office to make sure that we have the correct information. You'll also see we have lawn and garden. Yeah. And we have a home for home improvement, cooking, collectibles, uh, just about those top 10 lists that you find of pe things people like to do. We have prepared for that. You'll even find here we can help you get married. We have a <laughs> wedding neighborhood. And unfor or unfortunately, we have a divorce neighborhood in the pl in the works. Depends on your situation, yes. I guess, right? Well, we want to. We like we said, we have the information you need to make your life awesome. So yeah. this is a lot of filing. I mean, I it, how do, how does this happen? I want to I want to see this process. Okay, well, uh, we have one of the things that the library has to offer besides all of the books that is customer service. Mm -hmm. So. These shelves don't get filled by themselves. Yeah, yeah. And since we have 450,000 items here, we have a somewhat sophisticated system of getting them back on the shelf. I've always wondered about that. I mean, you, you check the books out. Okay. How do they get? No, here we go. We'll go to the underground and find out how it really We're going works. into the staff only area. Shh, don't tell anybody. So here we are underneath what most people think are the Under, library. You can tell because there's pipes and stuff down and there, And you right? can see just miles and miles of cord for the uh, the digital library yeah. that runs through all this. But we are entering into what we call our circulation workroom. And this is how it works. That little chute upstairs. Yeah. This is where it goes after you drop your book into the book return. Is that the and same with the, the parking lot that's one? That's the one that's coming in from the parking lot How right cool. there. How cool. And so the book comes down, it's scanning the barcode, and then it's adjusting the book. What it's doing is telling people where it belongs. As you'll see, each one of the carts has bookmobile, adult DVDs, children's DVDs, makes it very easy to shelve on the carts, ready to come back upstairs. It's, it's automated completely. I never would have known this existed down here. Well, you know, everything that we do, there are adjustments that go with this. And uh, But it, we were one of the first libraries when the new library opened in 2002 to have this system. And now it's kind of a standard. But you can see everything from a DVD to the books. They're moving down there and they're dropping into the appropriate bin. It allowed the circulation staff to actually spend more time doing customer service and working at answering questions that way instead of, and books are heavy. Yeah. So, so it is, it's a marvelous system. You'll see this whole area would be filled with carts, but when we start shelving, it empties out pretty fast. We're really lucky that we can usually get something back on the shelf within 24 hours. Wow. That's another thing, you know, from, from a lay person out there thinking how fast you have to get it when people are waiting for something Definitely. as well. Definitely. Yeah. Because there are people that they are anxious to see that next installment on that book or, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, the X-Files are coming out uh, with, a, I think, a movie or something. So you got to check up, you got to catch up with the shows. So. Mm -hmm. Our library's got so many wonderful things. I, I thank you so much for taking us on this tour and, and showing us all about the place. It is. I just recommend, you know, this isn't just for you, for you. Any person can come in and say, hey, I'd like to see how they check in books. We And they'll call me or someone else and we'll come down and we'll sh be happy to show you around. It's your library. It's pretty cool stuff, folks. You need to come down here. Uh, yeah, of course, you know where the library is on 10th Street, but mm -hmm. check out tscpl.org. Uh, that's, we're going to say it many times during yes. the show here to make sure folks get those library cards, right? Right. Yeah. And getting a library card is easy. All you have to do is fill out a form. It takes about three minutes. Everybody can uh, handle three minutes uh, to have this type of service. So, Diana, thank you so much for having or having us over here and letting us uh, see behind the scenes. Okay.